Self-love and taking care of the human nature of the feminine folk should be at its utmost consideration and it should be given full attention for the woman reproductive system does a whole lot of work in the life of every grown-up lady. This was part of the submission at the annual sister seminar organized by Nasra Lagos Zone 1 Youth Wing on Saturday, July 28, 2024, at the 16th edition of the program. Series of facilitators graced the occasion and spoke on different aspects of life that is of paramount to female folk. Hajia Mustafa at DBC spoke extensively on the physical and body fitness, mental health status of every woman. Leveraging our understanding of empathy to effectively connect with and assist our clients over the years, she has worked with over 200 couples and continues to provide professional support to social individuals and communities. In her own presentation, a marriage counselor and family coach, Ajia Bushro or Keowo Bombata, shed light on mindful choices, making decisions that earn us one self value. Now, next time if you ask who you are, some of us, if I have to sit down, it might take a long time to process who you really are. All who we really have is being influenced by our friends, our society, our family. Now, some of us will come up and say, I don't even know who I am. It's like that. I've met a lot of people with younger folks that, that say, I don't even know who I am. I don't even know what I want. They keep saying things like that. So, you can't know, I can't know who you are if you don't tell me who you really are. And you can't know who you really are if you don't sit down to think about you, yourself, your value, your goals, your pay attention to yourself, your values, and you know, to get to know yourself better. Now, so, let us know as an individual that if you do not understand your values, if you don't understand your values, if you don't understand you, you have, you may not be able to, you know, you may not be able to function well. You may not be able to uh, make the right choices. Now, before you make a right choice, you have to understand you. You have to understand what your values are. Know yourself enough first. Because if you don't know yourself enough, other people will influence your choices. So, um, understanding you your values, how you came about the values, then you make the right choices. And in making your right choices, you have to put your values together. In making friendship, in making um, um, maybe relationship um, decisions, maybe professional decisions, you have to understand you, what you want, what your values are, what your goals are, and then um, yes, you make a good choice. A director of Aminat Adams Consulting Firm and a TV and radio presenter and host, Ajia Aminat Adams, enlightened the participants on the concept of coincidental loss and its effect on individual choices. So, if you understand that, you would know that every single one of us in this room needs to be actively, conscientiously striving to be at the end of that coincidental loss. Need to, you need to break your back to be that, to stand out. You have to. And for me, um, a few of them suggested that I'm one of the people they reckon as the quintessential last. And the two principal guiding for the two guiding principles for me that have worked with me all my life is one, getting right the first time every time. And when I do that, it's able to encourage me to research so there's no task that I go into blindly. I will research about that task because I want to give a hundred percent every time that I get the job done. So get it right the first time, every time. Apply it to your relationships, your education, your career, your solar. Your solar in particular. Imagine if every solar, your intention is to get it right the first time every time. Think about it. You know, how beautiful will that be? You know, you would have Koshu. And so transit you know, you know, transfer that knowledge 
that same attitude to everything that you do, and you'll be fine, inshallah. The Zona Chairman, Engineer Mustafa Labi, at the event, also lent his voice to the sisters. The first is to encourage us, just like I said, we all know the present economic realities. Globally, the economy is not friendly, not only in Nigeria, it's everywhere. And based on this, a lot of things seem not to be right. But just like we had in our last, just as the last two, where Allah says, don't worry, surely I am with you. So I want to encourage us that despite the hardship, despite the economic reality, uh, I think we should look up to Allah, we should believe in Him, we should trust Him, and we should, you know, put all our trust, all our worries, we should put it in Him. I have read many articles on social media, and I am not, you know, gender biased, but I want to encourage us, I want to advise us that we should dwell more on things that are meaningful, you know, aside the social media. I mean, we should have time for social media, Instagram, Facebook, and what have you and tend to use more of our time on what we might need, what we beneficial you know, to our lives for both here and of course the year after. The Zona Amira of Naswa Lagos Zone 1 Youth Wing, Ajia Kafayas, are there for Wopwe as this message for the sisters. Make them more valuable. Let them realize the value they have in themselves and teach them more about Islam. So this program has um, put in place to make the sisters discover their quintessential life. So it is a very good moment in this program. We have over 250 sisters. Over 250 sisters who are the white people. The immediate past Zona Women Affairs Secretary for the Zone, Alaja Sidiko Otsumbade, representing the incumbent Zona Women Affairs Secretary, Ajia Adeleke Eshilokun, has this message for the sisters. I really appreciate sisters for organizing this uh, uh, an educative uh, session and with the lectures given by all the lecturers I will still advise them to make use of it and uh, the wise material because these days the economic is not friendly everybody is hostile and the ladies have to be polite they have to be polite, be responsible and be of assistance to their husband because this will help the husband in calming themselves because they need somebody that will be talking to them, chatting with them, pulling their mind and to, to make them feel belong because if they did not see any anybody to talk to, it can turn to be another thing. With the situation in the country, uh, they need somebody to rely on. We are helpers, so also I will want them also to be helpers to their husband, to be mothers to their children, and also mothers to their husband, because they need advice, they need somebody to talk to, so I will advise them, I will advise them to be more relevant and bring something to the table, not just wife and uh, they should look attractive to their husband, not just to dress anyhow. As a Muslim, you need to be, you need to dress modestly, very well. You don't copy others. Follow the rules and regulations of Almighty Allah and the Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so as to have a, a good rule. With that, you don't have problem with your children. If you're a good mother, your children will copy from you. But you cannot be somebody that will be talking and be acting in another form. So follow what you teach so that our children will be of good to us. Once you buy a lot of advice, a lot of things. 
a lot of what they can face in future in marriage and in work. But my advice to them is not much. Don't go back and come back to back and say no. If I keep on holding that one, get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. I'm not going to let it get get the issue with me. Oh, yeah, came out of my mouth. Only pay the tap for you see one for you see. I do not want to pay for what you tap for you see. I don't want to come on my walk on you see. I don't want to see all my tea affair. You did not have any mistake. I feel in my name. I'm not a mamma. I want to work for my son. I don't 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 want to work for my son. Olowo Abdukuham, Adewale, the Zona Youth Wing Amir, also lent his voice at the Sister Seminar event. And, uh, alhamdulillah. This is another yet uh, an interesting program for our sisters, uh, our sister of our journal. This is the third edition under our administration. And my first advice is uh, I want to appreciate all our sisters. I want to celebrate them for making part of this year's event. Because uh, essential last is talking about the modern uh, woman who has much belief, the fairness and boldness. So my first advice to our sisters is to take much uh, response, most especially the positive part of this lecture, to make it part of their usefulness and to be one of the most boldness sisters and uh, faithful and strongest in the outside. Because and also to most of the I ladies outside our youth, these are kind of the program we want them to engage in, in to discover myself. themselves. Because this program is a reawakening our sisters from their slumber. So they need to be bold. They need to be gone are the days where women are shamed, where women are caged into a particular domain. But now they need to come out of their shell and proclaim that strongest unstoppable. Women are too. So, my essential last is talking about how a woman will be bold, will be fearless, and will tolerate their self and to help themselves in every aspect of the activities they find themselves. The sisters turn out to mass, and then so far, so good. The lecture has been educative, inspiring. Um, despite the fact that I'm not a sister, I'm here as a zonal executive. I've really learned a lot. So, I want to say thank you to the lecturers and then thank you to the uh, mothers who came to give us more motivation. Delegates from different branches within Nassau Legal Zone were, were all present at the 16th edition of the Sisters Seminar. Being one of the participants of this event, I've learned a lot. Example number one, I've learned the principles that guide you to know and practical uh, and to know and adapt to your values, how to define and decide your values from decision making and balancing of the decision by being disciplined on them. To the point whereby we have um, the women affairs and the sisters uh, sisters seminar, particularly on um, relationship aspects, the, the husband house and the how to manage your homes and what we ladies should wear and use. I learned a lot from that part because a lot of ladies don't know that they need to dress right, look good, and also learn to package themselves in clothes, especially sisters. It's not by rapper and. Yeah, spaghetti singlets. It's beyond that. It's so good. I've been attending sister seminar for the past three years now. And it's always household. That is why I make sure every year don't miss it. Because year in, year out, it's always different topic from different angle, which makes life a different. It takes 
life to different um, shapes. Okay, it's always interesting. And I pray that you continue like this with motivational speakers that are great in Islamic perspective so that it could help more sisters in their physical life. Um, talking about this um, program, this is not my first time of attending these programs, like sister seminar, right? But this is, you know, we're upgrading and I'm getting to, you know, see better parts of how sisters are supposed to be coming together all the time. And um, throughout the program, I've learned a lot. See, from all the Alaga that talked about, you know, how women can manage their home, talk about the other Alaga that talked about decision making and everything. So I've learned so much. And also, when, when um, Alaja Amina said that we should all learn how to, you know, manage ourselves, also learn how to manage our values, and that alone is a lot. And seeing our beautiful sisters coming together and networking again, having to, you know, share ideas and everything, it's a great one, and I've had a lovely time here. I'm a student of Uni Lori. I'm a student of the University of Belarine, so uh, I found this um, occasion very interesting because I've not been here before, this is my first time. I didn't really want to come before because I feel like the way people say, sister seminar, this, that, and I came here today and I'm picking something home. Apart from the gift, apart from everything, I cherish what the lectured about. I cherish it than any other thing here. And I've learned about you being somebody in life. Don't give up. Chase your dream. Chase your career. Don't just be somebody. Don't just be a lazy type that you don't want to do anything. Start applying for jobs. Start going for different locations. Start applying for different scholarships and just so you can do it. I've learned about being a responsible person in the community, being a, just trying your best to do things, don't just give up on anything you are doing and I know that trying your best is actually talking to me because I feel like if I do something, I'll have to give up. But the way she mentored me today, I told me I would never give up on anything I'm doing. Happy, excited for this achievement. Alhamdulillah, I mean. And my advice would be to participants of this program. They should try and make everything they've learned here impact in their various lives, their various homes. May Allah make it easy for every one of us and grant them a safe journey to each and every From Nasfat its Rajesha branch, the venue of the sister seminar, Fauzia Salakosoni, reporting for Keen Media.